felt the same. Seasons travel round in circles. What's cracking, Teliax? It's Kevin here with the G Free Show, and you just heard Roster McCabe. Uh, it's one of their biggest songs right now called Stargazer. Um, it's a band from the Twin Cities that I've liked for a long time. I've been to a few of their concerts, and every one of them was just great. Um, really good band to listen to, so go ahead and check them out. It's just rostermccabe.com. Um, and then I guarantee that you'll like it if you actually like good you know, music, kind of like that uh, genre, I guess. Um, but today I just kind of want to talk a little bit about candy. I've had a little bit of a sweet tooth lately. I've just been working out so much and just kind of wanted some sugar. So, um, Go Picnic had sent me some fruit snacks uh, along with, you know, or with that care package. If you haven't seen uh, episode 75, I actually did it, fell right on my birthday, and I just, um, I was going to do a taste test of their turkey stick and crunch, and I could only taste two out of the five things because everything else was made on the same equipment as wheat. And I just don't do that. So, um, I just kind of wanted to try some of these fruit snacks. They look really good. Um, they're vegan, gluten-free. Um, no current corn syrup or anything like that, so that's cool. Um, I've been trying to cut out the high fructose corn syrup just because it's really not that good for you. So, um, let's see if I can get some of these out. Wow, these are really good. These are the Tasty brand. Um, I've never seen these in stores before. Maybe you guys have. If you have, please do let me know where you get these because I would definitely be interested in getting some of these. There's 260 calories in a pack, so I mean, I try and get, you know, quite a few calories in each day, and this is definitely good. Uh, for the flavors, they have strawberry, peach, tangerine, lemon, uh, tropical, and mixed berry flavors. So this is really good. Man, I, you know, it's one of those things where you just want to, instead of going on to the other things in the episode, you just want to keep on eating this. Uh, that's how I feel right now, so wow. Um, another thing I want to talk about is I don't know if you know if you guys know about these things. These strawberry candies. I used to eat these all the time when I was a little kid. Um, I guess they're called, oh yeah, the strawberry filled bonbons. I got them from the Weaver's Country Store. It's over in Fall Creek, Wisconsin here. Um, it's just this little, I think it's Amish market. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all Amish. I don't know the difference between Amish or Mennonite or, you know, what's what. But, yeah, up here in the Scotty land, I've grown up with uh, seeing plenty of, you know, Amish carriages rolling by and everything like that. So, uh, these things, though, these are actually made with corn syrup, um, fruit pulp, citric acid, you know, that kind of stuff. But, uh, I don't know, these things are just amazing. So, I thought it was cool to, you know, get some of these. Um, and then, also, i got gotten a little, I guess, uh, Max Hall is what you call it, or, well, I guess it's Mac Hall for, you know, girls talking about makeup and stuff like that, but, um, as far as this, i would gotten this whole bag for $4.99 of just, um, organic lollipops, they're gluten-free, casein-free, um, vegan, what else, uh, no corn syrup again, anything like that, and these things are really good, too, um, they have a few different pl or flavors, uh, pomegranate, sour apple, blueberry, uh, grape, watermelon, berry, st strawberry, cherry, mango. I mean, they have a ton of them, and all of them that I've tried are really good. Um, and I'm definitely going to need some help finishing these things because, I mean, there's a ton in here. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, so, well, TJ Maxx, they actually have quite a few, I mean, different gluten-free things there, and I was really surprised to see in their aisle. My mom had just pointed it out, and she was like, oh, you should really go check out the spices and the seasonings and stuff because... Well, I mean, I like to try and cook with new things, you know, and try and figure out, you know, new flavors and stuff like that. Which, by the way, um, in the uh, in the Earth Cafe, the cheesecake face-off, I had tried this uh, Who's Your Daddy? It's a Karab Bean cheesecake, and I didn't know how to describe the flavor of it. I didn't know exactly what Karab Bean was, or you know, I've never had it before. And someone I'd commented um, saying that it was like a hazelnut flavor kind of thing, and I thought that was a really good way to describe it. Um, it's definitely a great chocolate substitute, you know, it has its own taste to it, and it's just really good, so, um, it, it was cool, you know, I love when people comment and, you know, teach me a little something, to, you know, or, you know, any input like that, it's really cool. Um, but also, I had just found out that Gluten-Free Life TV is done. Um, I don't know if you guys have, you know, watched that at all or anything like that, but, uh, they, I guess, were owned by, you know, like a parent network, and, you know, they just cut the funding for it, I don't know exactly what happened, but... It's up for sale right now, and I was just really surprised to see it. At first, I thought they were just kind of selling out and just not wanting to do it anymore. Uh, and then I kind of looked back a little bit more and found out what happened. And I was like, oh, that really sucks. And they lost their host. 
I think her name was Angel, and she had done the gluten-free minute. So, I mean, you know, yeah, some people think, oh, it's eliminating the competition, but I don't think of it as competition between, you know, gluten-free video vlogs. I mean, it's just, you know, I like to tr try and spread the awareness, so I think of it as like a team thing. Um, so I thought that kind of sucked that they were all done. But, um, really, that's all I want to talk about today. So, yeah, I mean, just gluten-free candy today, but um, tomorrow I'll be talking... Um, I wanted to do a taste test of Woodchuck Spring Cider. I haven't had a chance to do that. I, really, I haven't wanted to drink it Also, I mean, I've been so busy working out and stuff, I'm not going to have a drink before doing that, you know. Um, so, yeah, I will be tasting that. And then there's another dry cider that I wanted to taste along with it. So, yeah, I'll do that after I get done working out then. Uh, so you guys have a good one. See you later.